UK election gut microbiota and inflammatory bowel disease. The first question is, what is gut microbiota? Well, that's a complicated term, but it encompasses all the bacteria, viruses, and fungal species that live in the intestine. What is the function of this bacteria in the gut? What are they doing? Well, these bacteria evolved with we as humans. So they really are part of our landscape. They help digest foods that we as uh, mammals cannot digest. For example, fiber that we cannot break down. They stimulate protective immune responses. They produce materials that help uh, stimulate normal uh, development and repair of the intestinal epithelial cells, the lining cells. So food is probably very important in relation which bacteria you have in the gut. Yes, absolutely. Um, we know that food is very important. Uh, as a baby is born, they're in a sterile environment and the development of their bacteria depends whether they're breastfed or formula fed. When food is introduced to a baby who's uh, being fed milk, there's a, a tremendous growth and uh, increased number of bacteria that as you eat normal food. And in adults? In adults, uh, there are differences in the microbiota and their function in vegetarians versus meat eaters, for example. People who are on high fiber diets versus low fiber diets. People who consume uh, fatty foods versus lean foods. Now, what is wrong with microbiota in inflammatory bowel disease? Well, this is an area that's rapidly being explored, but we're getting new, more information all the time. Right now, we believe there's an abnormal balance between the beneficial bacteria that, are pre that predominate in normals uh, with the aggressive bacteria that can stimulate disease in genetically susceptible host. Is there a chance in the near future perhaps to use bacteria as treatment for inflammatory bowel disease? I think there's great opportunities in that area. We haven't yet captured that, but I think that the most physiologic, natural, and least toxic approach to treating is going to be in manipulating the diet. Now, it may be important to have different diets for individual subsets of patients. Everybody, I doubt there will be a single IBD diet. Uh, there will probably be several types of diets based on the individual characteristics of the patient. Now, this is a fascinating future aspect, the uh, potential treatment with good bacteria for disease, which so far had no cure. That, that is absolutely true, and as I say, right now we are basically hammering the immune system, and there, there's a lot of toxicity with that, infections, cancer. If we could use b b gut bacteria or food products, we, in theory, could, could have the same effect, maybe even better effects. Make a case, how long will it take? Gosh, I think if we play our cards smartly, we could, within five years, come up with uh, treatments that may complement dietary treatments and, and bacterial treatments that complement uh, what we are currently doing on the immune response uh, treatment. But I really think in 10 years, we could make some fundamental treatments that hopefully would stand independently. Maybe after you induce remission, get the disease under control with uh, normal immunologically oriented targets, but use the dietary and bacterial approach to keep that patient in remission. And in theory, and hopefully, this is my dream, to prevent disease in patients that are susceptible, i.e. family members of uh, Crohn's disease and okay. osteoclitis patients. So we need another interview in five years. Well, I, I would be delighted to come back. <laughs> Thank you.